Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 26, 2020. I am, at least in the viewfinder here, I'm completely blown out and I couldn't figure out the lights and then I realized I'm like, is it because I'm wearing this white sweater? <laughs> Could be, I don't know, but it kind of works because this week is Halloween week. So whatever, let's just run with it, right? So I know we had uh, you know, a very serious talk last week. We're just gonna dive right in for this week. All that stuff that we've been getting prepped for, it's gonna be coming up, okay? Now, before we get into that though, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just know that these are gonna go deep, <laughs> okay? It's gonna go deep, so we are going to look at you at like a soul contract level, see what it is that, you know, it could be something that you need to be made aware of, things that could be coming up for you, but just know that we don't lean on predictions because really you are the one controlling your own energy, if that makes sense. But we will definitely look at some of the lessons that you are here to learn. And especially in this coming week and as we go into the rest of the year, if you would like to look into that, it's angelsouls444.com. I also have tons of courses, guys, on angels, archangels, how to communicate with angels, chakra clearing meditations over at Gumroad. It's gumroad.com slash angel souls. And of course, a very special thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. Now let's get into the message here. I think we're ready. This is like training for a marathon and you're nervous about it. And it's probably not going to be pleasant the entire time but you're really going to discover what you're made of this week, if that makes sense, okay? So things are gonna come up. I really feel like there's gonna be this like revelation. <sighs> Something comes out and we're like, whoa, <laughs> like, hang on, what are you talking about there? That can't be true. That's what a lot of people are gonna be saying. But then there's this other part of the population um, that is going to say, mm-hmm, been telling you this all along, y'all didn't believe me, right? So, <laughs> so that is going to be going on. Now, like I said, every individual has their story. They have their soul's contract. So, you know, everything that comes out for each individual this week, again, that's, that's why I said, you know, we can't really tune into every individual right here. But if I'm taking a collective energy and reflecting that back here for our discussion, uh, this is that kind of thing where what no longer works, transformation, that's the word, transformation. If you have Moldavite and you're ready to wear it, <laughs> now's the time to do that, okay? It's transformation, but things are gonna be coming up that are being asked to be set free, whether that's a habit or a relationship for some of you or a job. If you got laid off last week or you know you're about to be laid off or something like that, I know it's gonna be scary, but don't worry. Oh, don't worry, okay? <laughs> don't worry, something really amazing can be coming for you so long as you allow it in, okay? And this is a big like self-reflection kind of time. It's why I did have that big conversation last week because so many of us are being influenced by toxic people. It is a pandemic here, it just in that, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and, and we're in, in these times that are way too important for us not to wake up to that first, all right? So I hope you guys can understand that. Of course, a lot of people couldn't. My inbox has been inundated with people giving me their opinion on how I should be and who I should be, uh, which has been interesting and I wasn't surprised to see that. But it's more been uh, flooded with beautiful, supportive, loving messages. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much. You are my people, man. We are a family here and um, I just appreciate you all so much. I really do. Those of you who are like, hey, I hear you. I know I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I hear you, I understand. Um, just me as a human being, I needed to hear that. You know what I mean? I needed to hear that um, other people do see what's going on as well. So for this coming week, oh God, where do I begin? Um, it's going to be shocking. I think there's going to be some shocking things. And if we get to Halloween and nothing shocking happens, I'm gonna be shocked. That's gonna be the shocking event that nothing happened, right? <laughs> you know, so, I mean, I, I really do think that things are breaking apart, falling down, crumbling to make room for something new. But for each of you on an individual level, 
please let go of what no longer serves you. Okay, please let go of a need to push. All right, so that's a big one. Um, the need to find your self worth through a title, through an accomplishment. Some of you are going to, I mean, this, I know for me, and I know you guys have been witnessing this in me, like I'm having this whole turn in my belief system and I'm finally getting fed up and going, no, I'm not falling into this anymore. I believe in something beyond us, uh, energy and, you know, there's just these things that we don't have a language for. So we've been trying our best to make it make sense, I guess. But, you know, I believe in all that, but the way people put things and the way I've you know, just as an example, and I think I touched on this last week or the week before, I don't know, um, where when I started to come into this as a profession, oh man, people came at me with, it's called this. This is the term for that. If you don't know this, then man, I mean, people expected me to know astrology and numerology and I dealt with, you know, angelic energy. How, you know, they're all kind of related. It's an esoteric art, but one person doesn't have to know everything. There are some things that come together naturally, like tarot and astrology. They do tend to go together very nicely, but not everything does, right? So, <laughs> so you know, I guess if anything, it would be angels and numbers kind of go together. Um, but again, that's tapping in. If you want to, you know, think of like uh, universal codes or binary codes, all right? It kind of starts going down that route. But anyway, the point is, is that we're in this time. I know for me, I started shifting and going my own way and saying, no, I don't have to play into, I gotta fix my light, is that gonna do anything? Oh man, did that make it worse? Let's do that. But again, I know for me, I, I started to just kind of back away from that and say, I don't have to go into that. I don't have to define my belief system by what is already set in place by people who came before me, right? So I know some of you are gonna be like, are you stepping all over like ancient wisdom? No, I'm not trying to do that, but I'm just saying like the way we, uh, and how do I wanna say this, this generation of the new age movement where we've taken it, okay? It's, it's really gone into a lot of falsehoods because we're all just seeking peace. We all just wanna feel okay, right? And so we'll grasp onto anything. So that kind of turn, that's just one example. You might go, you know what? I am sick of this career. I am sick and tired of whatever, like living by somebody else's standards or I'm tired of being controlled. Oh God, ladies, God, I say this because there are so many women that I know that are in very, very, con and it's, sorry guys, I'm not saying that you're all bad. It's just these particular women, they happen to be in heterosexual relationships and the men are very controlling and won't let them live their lives. And I, oh, if you're in one of those situations, look out, <laughs> like look out, it's going, it's all coming to a head and, and we're coming to this summit where people can't get away with what they used to. This can be a disturbing time in that you might find out that that family next door, which you always kind of had a weird feeling about, they aren't treating their kids very well, which again, you always suspected, but you didn't have enough proof. You know, there could be like definitive proof, like you actually witnessed something or you witnessed the truth of what someone's motives are, okay? Um, when things really start shaking and cracking open, like they will be, and it's not just this week, I mean, I was, we're just addressing it week by week, but you know, when that starts to happen, you will see who has been false, right? So if you think someone is so great, they're so amazing, they're so this, they're so that, and then when a real situation comes up and now they're making everything about them, they're not being very kind or compassionate, I mean, it's that kind of thing. We're gonna start seeing people, and as a lot of you, you guys always comment and say, you're seeing people's true colors. That's what we're talking about here. Okay, that's exactly what we're talking about. So there's gonna be some disappointments. That's how I wanna put it. There's gonna be some disappointments where, you know, for some of you, it's a friendship and you realize this person never cared about you or you finally wake up and go, uh, you know, Michelle, you were talking about narcissism so much, I fell asleep and I stopped listening to you. <laughs> because it became like a buzzword. I know, I know, I be, like, I know. I, I, I talk about it a lot. But I talk about it a lot because that's the message that is supposed to come through me. That's my contribution, 
Okay, does that make sense? So, you know, some of you might be waking up to that and going, oh my gosh, this is what I'm now seeing about my family. This is what I'm seeing about everything that's going on in my life. There's, you know, well, we can sit there and say, oh, the truth is revealed. Truth is subjective, okay? Truth is subjective. What your truth is, is going to break open. That does not mean, I don't feel for a lot of you, that everything changes. Well, for some of you, it could change overnight. Um, you know, I mean, there are families that they've had devastations happen to them, like the most unspeakable things. And everything changed like that my love to those families and to the beautiful souls that crossed over that i'm not saying that's going to happen to all of you out there i'm just saying that that is what some people are experiencing with all this transformation but i think for more of you it's going to be this i see it i'm processing it and then i'll figure out what to do with it does that make sense so let me let me let me go over that one more time. It's not as if we see the truth of something or we see our truth coming out and we think we have to take immediate action. Impulsivity, I mean, I think a lot of you are going to want to because anytime you get, you know what this is? It's like putting yourself, putting your hand on like an electrical wire and you're not grounded and you get an incredible jolt from it. And of course you're gonna, you know, want to like run and be like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> you're gonna be freaking out from a situation like that. So whatever news comes in and jolts you, whatever opens up and is revealed and surprises you, shocks you, disappoints you, don't do your best, right? I know, try not to be reactionary. For some of you, this is going to be a really beautiful surprise and yet it feels uncomfortable. It's, how do I describe this week? It's one of those things where for, again, for most people, it's a discomfort and yet it's like happy news. It's like, oh my gosh, you won, you won. For some of you, again, not everybody, but for some of you. And you're like, yeah, but that put me in the spotlight and I don't like that. Or, hey, we want you to do that job. And you're like, really? Why me? I don't know if I'm qualified. Or, hey, I love you. I've loved you for a very long time. And maybe you've been single for a very long time and you're terrified to even go down that road in a relationship because, I don't know, for some of you, I feel this, and we have talked about this, for a lot of you, I mean, your heart has just been through it and you have just tried and tried and tried and then, you know, it's what they always say, as soon as you stop trying, that's when a love partner comes forward, right? And we need to let go of, you know, because I'm, I'm sort of unconventional in my approach to relationships, I guess, because I never did fall into that whole thing of, you know, if you're single, you're pathetic. Excuse me? I, I, listen, I'm not even gonna go down that road. <laughs> or, you know, if you're single, there's something wrong with you. Um, if you're single, you know, maybe you have Uranus in the seventh house. Maybe you're just somebody who's, I, I do. <laughs> I have Uranus in the seventh house. And I tend to feel very trapped in relationships. So I would be, um, what's that couple, that movie star couple, was it Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell? Is that who, where they never got married? Am I right on that? I don't know. Um, but, you know, like just as an example, maybe you would be better off being in a relationship, but maybe marriage isn't for you. Maybe you're kind of like, I don't know if I need the pressure of a marriage or what have you. I mean, you know, this could be this kind of thing where someone comes up and says, I love you and I want to be with you and you aren't trusting yourself. Or maybe you are somebody who doesn't really believe in marriage and they're like, let's get married, right? <laughs> what have you? Or for some of you, there, here's something that's going to be happening for a lot of you. This might be military couples. Someone's going to come to you and say, hey, I got stationed in name a country and now you're expected. Sorry, this is very specific, but someone's going to university. You're in a relationship with somebody who, I don't know if it feels military, but it might not be, but they have to move to a different country um, and they want you to come with them. And that's a beautiful thing because it shows you that they're ready to kind of take the relationship to the next level. But that means you have to give up your education or at least take your education elsewhere. Do you see what I mean? Like that's the kind of thing where it's like, oh, this is asking me to be someone else and I don't know how to get there. Okay, I don't know if I'm prepped 
enough for that. Please be careful on Halloween and everything leading up to Halloween. Um, carelessness, this is carelessness. This is like needless tragedies happening. This is like people just not being careful. Please just be very, very mindful. Do not be careless. Do not be impulsive. Don't be reckless. Okay. Um, Okay, so I see a young man. I would say he's about 19, 20 years old, not old enough to drink, and yet he has been drinking. And he slips and falls, uh, and something happens there. So please, not even behind the wheel. I'm not even feeling like this is a person who's behind the wheel. This is somebody who thinks that they're invincible. And I'm talking, too, to some of you out there who, you know, let's say you use the roadway as your personal entertainment. <laughs> instead of being safe and responsible and let's be frank in adults okay when you're driving please be careful all right god there's a lot okay so there could be flash flooding this week watch for that here in colorado we have unbelievable fires happening uh, i'm sure you guys have been hearing about that a lot of shakeups. it's all the stuff you already know except it's going to be a little bit more of a push this week and a little bit more in your face. Does that make sense? Okay, leave your comments down below about how you're experiencing this week. Remember, we are a family here. I'm, I'm so sorry that I was kind of starting out this whole Angel Souls channel um, years ago, seven years ago, being all timid and shy and trying to people please everybody. I know some of you who know me as of now, you're like, people please, you know, you're so not that person. I was so that person. I was so terrified of what anybody was going to have to say, and I always felt like I had to cater to whoever. But we're starting to weed all the toxicity out here. We are a family. We're here with, with one another. Go ahead and leave your comments down below about how you are experiencing this energy. Okay? And on that, uh, thank you guys for your feedback on whether or not you want the dailies to continue. Um, people were either like, I kind of really enjoy them where they were like, you know, we'll just go with whatever's good for you. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for that. Um, I think what I can try, we'll stick with the dailies for now. If something comes up and I feel like, oh gosh, this is getting to be too much. Of course, I'll let you know in the community tab for as long as it lasts on YouTube. And someone did suggest using my cabochons. If you guys don't know, I do on my channel. I made some, I made divination tools. I just made some cabochons and we can do here and there a bonus reading with those if you want okay i will be coming out with 2021 videos yes per sign yes per sign please give me some time to do that because i want to take my time with it you may see this same background i you can't see all of it because the bats go all the way up the wall but i have put them all one by one <laughs> so even though the 2021 videos are kind of almost evergreen content usually i would take down any sort of seasonal stuff but you may see the same background i don't know if i could take that down and put it back up but anyway that will be coming and still i know a lot of you when we're still on the topic of feedback that i've heard from you guys i know you want the monthly by signs okay i know you want that but here's the thing guys when i do it no one watches no one watches and those take a lot of time as i've explained before and i i remember was it 2018 i think i brought them back in 2018 hardly any views on them whatsoever and it seems like the interest lies more in the year overviews so what i'll probably do probably uh i'll probably do a 2021 uh general overview okay and then i'll do per sign as well Okay, so leave your feedback down below about that. We're gonna be using the Moonology cards. I just <laughs> get this. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Moonology deck and we'll pull the color card as well. So let's see what we have here. Really? <laughs> I have my camera kind of up because I wanted you guys to see <laughs> my labor intensive it doesn't look like much but that took a lot to put together so sorry it's just like my shoulders and my head there's a method to my madness okay so but anyway you, i don't know if you could see that but it like popped right into my hand so this is emotions are running high super moon okay 
And that's what it is. Is this all blared out too? Can't really tell. Uh, so yeah, emotions are running high and that's kind of what I was trying to get at here where it's just, you know, it's one shocking thing after another. Parents, you might find something in your kid's, you know, book bag and you're like, what? What? You are not getting involved with this. I know you're not getting involved. Someone, I can actually see a parent crushing a cigarette packet. May not be cigarettes, but I can see them crushing it and throwing it down. Do not as much as you can, do not come at your kid, all right? This is an opportunity, I know I'm not a parent. It'd be very easy to say, well, you're not a parent, you don't understand, <laughs> I would freak out. Um, that's not what your kid needs, I'm just giving you the message as it's coming up. Uh, your child needs to be spoken to because there's a need for acceptance and an escape. So that's the thing that needs to be addressed, not the actual habit that they are about to pick up, if that makes sense. So yeah, emotions are going to be running incredibly high here. And it is because people are just uncomfortable. And I know a lot of you out there are like, how much more can we take? I mean, again, a lot of families have gone through quite a bit. A lot of families have suffered losses. I'm aware that a lot of people have been through quite a bit. We all have, we've, you know, my family, we've had loss, a lot of loss. Um, again, I've heard families experiencing things that are just unimaginable. And um, I'm not gonna sit here and say that 2021 is like smooth sailing, it's not. It's not going to be for a very long time. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We have to make the best of it, right? And, oh gosh, okay, so shocking revelations. Like for some of you who are married, it could be a shocking, it doesn't have to be. I'm kind of laughing because I just had a couple of examples pop up where one is silly, and it's sort of like, you never told me you, you didn't like broccoli. I've been making broccoli this entire time. You know, it could be something silly like that. Or it could be something, quite frankly, about someone's sexuality. There could be something like that that comes out. Again, let's all try to have as much compassion as we can. No matter what comes up, no matter how shocked we are. Again, I'm a human. So <laughs> when I do these messages, it's just me, you know, plugging in and giving you what comes up, but I have to go out there and live too. So there could be some really shocking news. You might, uh, other parents out there, you might get news that someone is engaged and some of you don't approve of who the person is seeing or someone is pregnant. I mean, I, this is like life altering, shocking. Whoa! <laughs> some of you out there who are expecting, you might find out that you're having twins. All right, it's a little nutty. It's a little like, what the, what the, what the, although, okay, don't get too wound up if, okay, I'm sorry, I, I don't know why these very specific messages are coming up. You know, that's not usual in these readings that I do, um, but someone, someone, um, it's a woman who's pregnant, she goes to the doctor and they think that there's twins, but later on you find out it wasn't twins. Does that happen? I don't know, but, um, it came up, so I just thought I would let you know. Okay, so I hope and pray that this video doesn't look too weird <laughs> when I go back. Oh, goodness. Okay. Then we have uh, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, whatever comes up, bring love to it. Not punishment, not guilt, not shame, not, you know, and this is even for yourself. If you have a revelation of like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. That's not what my belief system is. I don't want to just go along with the crowd so that I don't upset people anymore. You know, um, you know, this is you kind of breaking away and going your own way, but bring love to you too. All right. Especially for some of you out there who have experienced uh, abuse. This is your chance to finally let yourself be there for you and bring love to you. Yet others of you, and I'm speaking to people who really are only, you only feel as worthy as people are giving you attention, or you only feel like you exist when someone sees you. You're, you're going to have to face that. I mean, you're going to have to get some help, some of you, to face that. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Boy, 
get your boxes of chamomile tea ready, okay? Because <laughs> like, it does feel like it's like, oh gosh, what next? What news is next? You know, kind of thing. And I know, well, this is more around like technology for the past two weeks. My brand new computer, I had to wipe it because it just crashed. It's brand new. Apple, I'm looking at you, okay? I'm a looking at you. I bought that machine and I had to wipe it. Are you kidding me? Okay, you're lucky I <laughs> back things up and I'm very careful with that stuff. But this is the second time this has happened with a Mac. So um, anyway, that was just an aside, but like, th like, there's like contending with that and then something else would come up and I'm like, oh, but I got to work on my computer. I got to get this back up and running because that's, that's how I edit videos. Hello. That's what, <laughs> that's how I'm going to be able to do my work. So it could be something like that situational kind of stuff where we know Mercury's retrograde. So everything kind of goes haywire, but it can also be 80% this week, emotional stuff that sort of compounds on the other stuff. But it's okay. The The biggest take home from this is like, you can handle it. You can handle Are you kidding me? We've done nothing but go through a boot camp. Okay, we are good. All right. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. Now this is talking about that transformation-ish. Okay, anyway, I, I do B-roll so you can see these. But um, have faith in your dreams. This might be you redefining what you want that dream to be. So some of you who said, you know, I was giving the example of maybe you don't believe in marriage or maybe you've always told yourself you don't, it's a complete turnabout <laughs> is what it is. So if you've always said, I don't believe in marriage, all of a sudden you meet somebody and you're like, whoa, uh, okay, yeah. I, well, I didn't believe in marriage with someone who wasn't right for me, but with you, I'll marry you. <laughs> right? It could be something like that. Or having this resurgence of a lifelong dream but make sure that you're not going after a dream just so that you can get recognition and just so that you can be popular. But something that you're like, no, I've always wanted to try my, my uh, hand at this. I've always wanted to get in there and see what this is like, right? So this is you exploring something you haven't had a chance to give energy to. Okay, so how many cards was that? I think it was only three, right? Yeah, three. Okay. So, where's the next one? Am I here? Okay. Uh, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. It's time to not be impulsive. Remember what I said? Because <laughs> sometimes when we say it's time to take action, people start jumping in. They're like, ah, you know, let's just do this. This is a time to be honest. That's take action on the honesty, right? So, you know, you might recognize some bad habits. We were talking about habits, you know, and you might go, you know what, I can't make an excuse. I can't just pretend like this isn't happening. I, you know what I'm saying? So like some, it's gonna be big guys. I mean, it's like opening the closet, everything falls on your head and you're like rah, 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 everything fell on my head. And then you start breathing and looking at everything and going, yeah, but look at how well I can see everything now. <laughs> now I can get rid of what I don't need and clean up what is, you know, still there and get back on track with my life kind of thing. Okay, so let me get the color cards here. Okay. Meditation is gonna be so important this week, guys. And be careful if you're somebody who, you know, the whole thin veil around Halloween, Day of the Dead, all of that, be careful with your practices because some of you are, you want to talk about like being in the ego. Some of you are sort of one of those types that's like, you know, I know how to do this. I know everything about my practice and I know blah, blah, blah. And then you end up, um, some of, there's going to be desperation coming out this week. And so if you're trying to use your spiritual practice to kind of help you with your desperation, if that makes sense, it's not going to go well. Okay. It's just not going to go well. All right, so our card for this week is Coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18, reduces to nine. You have done a good job on a soul level with your life lessons. If you are sitting there going, no, I have in my life is blah, 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 blah. No, that's where you learn the most as a soul, right? So what this is saying is <laughs> big changes are coming. They're going to be unexpected. Uh, you might have a lot of doubt but be more in the flow. 
release the need to overthink things. I know this is terrible because I do it all the time. It's terrible of me to be saying this to y'all, <laughs> but like, I'm right here with you. I'm learning all the lessons too. But you know, this, this card is definitely saying that it's time to let the universe show you what's possible and stop pushing it away because it's uncomfortable or stop pushing it away because that's just not how I'm planned my life, right? <laughs> all plans are canceled. I repeat, all plans are canceled and the universe is going, y'all made a mess. Here, let me, let me help you. This, here, here's what we can do. You're gonna follow it or you're gonna fight it, all right? The choice is yours. So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.